Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey, uh, internet. Um, I want to uh, clarify a certain thing of my last post on YouTube about medication, how to pack it, where to put pack it, how to store it, and all that stuff, and um, what to do, what not to do. So I want to clarify a little something. So this is like an extra video for you guys to watch. When I meant when I said do not put your medication in your luggage is because you always want to keep it with you. And the reasoning is, is that in certain countries, whatever medication you're taking, they may not have that particular medication you take. They may call your pharmacy to ask what to use that's more similar in that country you're visiting from. Like for an example, if you're going to the UK and you need a certain type of medication and they may not have the, the one that you're using daily and that who lives in, for an example, in Canada and that. And so Canadians or Canada's prescription is completely different um, comparing to probably the medication in the UK. Or our medication could be different comparing to um, the in United States. It's depending what prescription medication you use. So when I meant when I said um, never pack your medication in your luggage, it's because you need to keep it personal to yourself. Like not personal, but keep it close by in your carry on or even on person so that you have it because you never know that that country that you could be visiting may not have that medication you have they may not even have it period they may not even have the proper ingredients or what to use to making sure that you get that precise per prescription medication like if you go and v meet a doctor or whatever country you're visiting in they may be able to help you whatever they can to actually get that medication so that you have it. But at the same time, some countries may carry different things than other countries. So that's why I always say never, ever, ever pack your medication in your luggage. You always want to keep it with you so that you're always having it one step of the way if you run out of your medication and you're in that country for an example i'm going to use the uk again and you run out of a certain prescription and all that stuff and that and you run out of your medication you can always bring your medication with you to the doctors and show them this is what i'm taking and i need extra because i'm here a little bit longer and that and i don't have enough but it's always good to actually pack extra medication and to notify your doctor and all that stuff saying, hey, I'm going away here. I'm going to need an, a little bit extra if that's okay. Let them fill out a prescription medication for you when you go away and that you have enough when you go away. But if you do run out, always carry your medication with you. Present it to the doctor wherever you're visiting or wherever you're going to so that maybe they can actually assist you and help. That's what I meant when I said don't put your medication in your luggage because you always want to keep it with you. I know I'm actually repeating this over and over and over again because it is an actual topic like, you know, one of my friends were talking about and um, we were having a debate about it and I said to my friend, I said, no, you should be keeping your, your medication with you because it's important because... You don't know if your luggage will ever make it to point B. Like here, you're in Canada, so this is point A. You could be going to, like, say, for an example, to Australia, which is point B. So from point A to point B, you want to make sure that you have... You want to make sure you have your medication with you all the way to your point B station. And if you don't see your luggage and your luggage has gone missing and all that stuff, that's when you know, okay, 
great. I have my medications. I have my passport. I have everything with me. The airport will end up searching for my luggage. And if somehow it's missing and they cannot find it and all that stuff, hopefully somebody can reimburse you for a little bit of money so that you can get some clothes for yourself and that. I Hopefully airlines do that. But you know deep down you feel relief that you have your medication with you and that. So I made an error when I said on my last post like medication cannot be replaced. I What I meant to say is some medications it could be replaced with a, like with a substitute wherever country you're visiting from. But if you are on a certain precise medication and they don't have it, it's unfortunately that you might be without. So always carry your medication in your carry-on and everything like that. And what I meant to say when I <laughs> said have a doctor's note, it's always good to carry one. When they go through your luggage and they see your prescription medication, they may ask you questions of like, what is this? You can explain what it is. But until they actually request for a doctor's note to knowing what else and other details why is being used, do not present it until they request it. That's all I suggest. But they can ask you questions and go, oh, okay, you know, and zip up your carry-on and you're on your way to your uh, terminal and all that stuff, but only present it when they request it. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify that hopefully that actually makes sense. But when I was watching my last video, I was like, oh my gosh, I sounded like an idiot. I explained everything incorrectly, but I want to like clarify it and make it understandable. So do apologize for the last video. It was so confusing, but this one, hopefully it does make sense. But you can always get advice from travel agents. You can always get advice from your doctors what to do when you're traveling too. So that's another good pointer. Always talk to professionals what to do when you're traveling and what you do when it comes towards medication. Talk to your medical profession what to do and talk to your travel agent and including talk to your um, airline company that you're going to or cruise ship company. So yeah, that's another thing. So um, have a great day, have a great night, and I will see you guys on another video. And uh, good night. Peace. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say it. Stay true to you and stay positive too. And uh, positive word of the day is, um, <clears throat> since we were talking about health and medication and all that stuff, um, good health. Positive word of the day, good health. Um, always stay in good health good spirits and just like you know keep positive and uh do a little self-care and self-love that is the positive word of the day good health